Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a book flip. I just did not have time over the last two weeks, last two Tuesdays, to do videos because I was busy doing classes that have kind of stacked up on me that I, you know, bought online and I needed to finish them. I'll give you a list of the things that I've already paid for and are in process of watching or haven't even touched yet uh, towards the end. All right, so I just finished the um, handmadebookclub.com five-day accordion challenge, which ran through Monday through Friday, and every day was a different kind of accordion book. I only did uh, four types. One, two, three, four. No, wait, wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I only made four of the five, and I'll tell you why later I didn't make the fifth book. Okay, so the first book... Oh, dog barking in the bedroom. That's lovely. First book I have to show is um, this little one because we started out with your basic thing like this. This is called My Garden, and this is Sorry Ribbon That Was Gifted to Me, and I had the little charm already. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. You just poke a hole in the back, and I just tied a knot. It, I didn't really, I didn't put a lot of effort into this because most of my time was spent doing this. All right, so this is a basic <coughs> folded accordion where you fold, you make a piece that's like, I think it's seven and a half inches tall, and then you fold up either two or two and a half inches from the bottom. It's not sewn. The only place that it's attached is it's supposed to be glued here on the edge and here on the edge and the rest of these are all you know open so my accordion book was um inspired by gardening which i really like to do but can't do it here in texas because everything's dead and we're on volunteer water rationing so our garden for vegetables is croaked and we're only allowed to water on wednesdays and saturdays because our house number ends in an odd number so, you know, it's kind of hard to grow vegetables when they need water every day because it's 105 degrees outside. Okay, so um, I painted, first I took water, this is watercolor paper. I bought uh, sheets of 22 by 30 Strathmore watercolor paper, which was like about approximately $4 a sheet at a local art store, MC Art Store, MC Arts in um, Waco. Um, and so I bought four sheets because I just had a sneaking feeling. They told us we only needed two. Uh, thank God I bought four because I ended up cutting into the third sheet. Because I messed, I messed up because I didn't turn the paper the right direction. Anyway, so here is what mine was inspired by, is the drawings that I learned how to draw um, from Instagram, watching Alice Loves Drawing. I adore her drawings. So I did watercolors on the paper first, then I drew over the um, watercolor with um, more watercolor, and I think I used a Micron pen, although I can't remember. And then the top, this is a, this is Sorry Ribbon, I think, that I was gifted. This one is of lavender, and this is, I can't remember if this is the bed sheet I dyed, or if this is Sorry Ribbon, but it's one of the two. And no, there's nothing on the backs. And they're inside a fence with grass. This is another one. Now, I know for sure this one was gifted. This this was gifted to me. It was perfect because it had orange in it. I was so excited. See, you save stuff. You find cool stuff later. The, on, the only problem is, is when you pull on it, I've to I tore two of these at the top because I guess I didn't poke the whole you know, far enough down. So I did take the um, the rings and put them on there on the back side so you couldn't see them on the front and put them in there for reinforcement because when you pull on this, it just ripped the... And I did two of them that way. This one is Texas Blue Bonnets. This is sheet that I dyed, my cotton sheets that got a hole poked in them. I dyed these with... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm thinking it was Bombay ink or... Yeah, Bombay ink. There's another one. This is an iris. And I think I might have dyed this one. Although, you know, not really sure. 
could be a sorry sorry ribbon I don't know see I did all I went back and put those rings on every one of them this one is another one this is supposed to be a day lily and I know this was gifted to me because I do not dye stuff like that that's beyond my capability then this is a yellow sh this is a, a cotton sheet I know that one for sure these are yellow tulips and then the last one is a water lotus or water lily of some sort. And this, I did dye this one. I know that for sure, too. Okay, so the rest of it is just I painted because I, I wanted to mimic that these were in a garden. So I drew the little fence posts on individually and then painted in the background green first, then painted the white and went over it with a, uh, I think I used a Posca, I can't remember. Then I drew the black lines with the black pen that I had. And so there's that one. So that's the first project in the five that we did. I don't know about, uh, it was exhausting. The videos on how to do these were released every night at midnight. That's all I could think about when I went to bed was, oh my God, I, gotta, I can't wait to see. I think the next one I did is this one, and I call this one The Universe. This is a very simple book, but you did get to do uh, creases on this side because it's a flap. This is the um, fastener, just glued on the back. I made contiguous line, so it would go all the way around. And here is the inside. I doodled on the inside. I mimicked this as the Milky Way, and all the other things are planets and stars. I spent. A, I think this is the one I spent the most time doodling on. This took a long time, but I'm so pleased with the way it turned out. I'm just crazy about it. So that's the second project that we did. There's just a slit in here, which I've done before. But it just looks very cool, and it closes the book nice and neat. It's number two. Number three is, I don't know. I don't know if I did them in order or not. I, I don't know. This one's a spinner accordion. So you fold it out, and these little cards in the middle flip around with a thread on it. Oh, you can't see that. And it's hard to do that this way, but one side, okay, let me lay it flat and turn them around. One side I did um, watercolors, just kind of abstracty looking doodly watercolors. And I tried to make the line so it would go from one to the other, like kind of like the universe thing I did. This was the second one. Okay, then on the back side, if you can call it the back side, I did black and white, and I did each one of these cards um, like I would an ATC, but they're a little bit larger than an ATC, so that's the back side of it. So when you look at it, you can look at the front, but if a nice wind comes, then they, they turn around. They're very clever. Very clever. I've never made anything like this. Super easy to make. It's not rocket science, thank goodness, because I would not be making it. It's a very clever design. I really had a good time making this. All right, so that's number three. Right? Yeah. All right, so here's number four. Number four took a lot of time because I did, I did put a lot of work into it. This is a starfish. And this is the fastener that keeps the book closed. I cut my starfish in half so that he would fit, fit together when I put the closure on. It's the belly band. So he is the closure. And then this is called the ocean. I'll take the belly band off. It'll be easier. And then here it is. This is a double accordion book. So I, you paint the large piece first. Then I did the second piece, and I went on Pinterest, and I looked at all the really cool fish. I forgot I had a file on Pinterest that had all these cool-looking fish on them. Each fish is painted individually, cut out, and then glued onto the background. And there's number three and four. 
but I did not paint this. I should have, and I did not paint this. Then I did a uh, three-hole pamphlet stitch on these two, which holds the second piece onto the first piece. So this is what it looks like outstretched. So that's why I call it the ocean. I do love these fish. I think they're so cute. I think this guy might be my favorite one. I had a good time painting it. I think that's why it's because I was playing around with um, the amount of water I used in my watercolor. But this is fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, so that one is the next one. And then there was supposed to be a flag book. Now, I have made, a, I don't know, four or five flag books, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do a flag book or not. And I did not do the flag book, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, so there's this one with the belly band back on. So I did have a strip of paper left. Well, there were th it was a block of paper left. And I cut it in three-inch strips and then folded it, figured out how long each one was. And then they were uh, creased at two and a half inches per block. And then I took book binding material and glued it onto here, which was a mistake. I'll show you in a minute. So I did a belly band for it, just your typical little slide-off belly band. This class, uh, they give a little mini class. There was featured artist for every day of the week. This one was done by Joanne Sharp. And boy, oh boy, did I love this. This was so much fun. All right, now I'm going to show you why you don't use bookbinding stuff on there. Look at that. It leaves an unsightly look. If you're, I should have done white paper, which was what color the strap more is. I should have taken a scrap and folded it over it. That way I could have painted over it and it wouldn't look so funky. But never use this where you're going to see it or paint over it because I had to glue it on there. What a mess. And I have it in two spots. And here's the, the second one. It looks worse than the first one because it's a lighter color. But these were a blast to paint. I am so pleased with the way it turned out. I really like her style. So the inside, her book, her flag book, she had a flag book. I did not, I did the stuff that she talked about in her flag book, but I did not make the flag book itself. So the inside, she talked about um, positive affirmations. So I painted the inside like she showed how to do the wa uh, watercolor, you know, kind of diagonally. And then she talked about not wasting your paper. And I took little snippets of watercolor paper I had put away. And then I put color on them, wrote the words and, my handwriting and then made them thick or you know gussied up the handwriting a little bit and then glued them in on top of this then I did the doodling around it and then I drew with the pen around each one of the little squares so I have hope joy and I did a centerfold one because I learned that from Alicia Burke's class to not be afraid to put stuff in the centerfold and it worked out fine so that's words passionate shine and yes I drew this and glued it on all these are glued on top Curious and grow. And the last one is love. And all the, the, the circle here is hand done. And then the little heart in the middle is also hand done. And then I did the doodling around it. So instead of making a flag book, I made this because I think I've already proven my chops on flag books. I'm not sure I really wanted to make a big, huge one. Let me pause this and I'll go get a flag book for you that I've made in the past. Okay, in 2018, I went on a kick of making flag books. So I made one, two, three of them. One of them I gave away to a friend's grandchild. And then I made um, this one, which has a belly band on it. And it's flowers. That took a tremendous amount of time. And I was like, I eh, don't know if I really want to do that again. So I did not recreate the flag book. This one is the one I had thought about doing for the big flag book, the big accordion flag book. And then I was like, oh, I, I don't think I have it in me. This was day number five to make the big one. I was like, oh, I'm just so tired. I can't do it. So I did the little one instead. All right, so there's the belly band for that one. And I did write what year I made it. I made it in March in 2018. So this is a little bit old. Then I decorated the board. I did put uh, board, some kind of board on the front and the back so that when it opens, it would be in a little stable. And this is what I did for that. I made a town. 
each one of those houses is individually cut and colored. All the trees are individual. Everything is individually done. It is not run off on a printer. I drew them. I painted them. I cut them out. So there's the town this way. And then you can look at them this way. There are trees and there's all kinds of buildings. And this took bloody forever. And I was like, when they said make an accordion book, I was like, yeah. And then I was like, no. <laughs> so I did not do the accordion book. Um, the other one that I gave away was fish. So I have the flowers and I have the houses and the fish went bye-bye. So I did not make the accordion book for the fifth one because I was like, oh, no, I don't think so. Even though they were big, you know, the tags are big. I may do it in the future because, you know, once you belong to the book club, um, the videos that they record for these challenges stay up. And I can always go back and revisit it and decide to do it. But I don't know if I will or not. So I have been taking other classes. I'm enrolled in one, two, three, one, two, three, three or four classes with Alicia Burke online. And I'm working on, I will do a flip through of this. This is my uh, journal petite class that I've been working on and this has 180 pages in it <laughs> they may be small but my word it takes forever to fill up something like this and yes it has a weight problem because look at that I've already got a nice big dimple in the spine so there's this then I also was working on um, fodder challenge number one because I joined that it's a year-long challenge I've been making new inspired fodders and this month was um no i'm behind so in the may see i'm trying to catch up may was jelly printing and i'm going to do a video on um, a handmade jelly print object i made three of them to do the jelly printing with and i'll do a video on that in the future and i'll show you the papers then i'm also in so i'm on fodder one alicia burke i have a zentangle class that i have not even started that it or i paid for two or three years ago um, I did Creative Jump Start two years in a row. I have not touched any of those. Um, there's one more. What is it? There's one more class that I've taken that I haven't even done anything. Oh, I have a Nick the Booksmith class. So that's five. <laughs> so I'm trying to work my way. And the new Fodder School, Fodder School 2, starts in October. So I've got to hurry up. So I wanted to share with you the HandmadeBookClub.com's um, accordion challenge books. And that's why I made no video for the last two weeks as I've been working on the challenge this week. And the week before that I was working on this chunk bug. So hopefully I will have a video for you next week on the jelly printing and what I did to make it happen. So thanks for staying, everyone, to watch the flip. I hope you enjoyed it. It really was a lot of fun to do it, but it is kind of exhausting getting up and trying to be creative every single day. Hardcore, you know? Um, kind of makes your brain hurt. And I, I was petered out on day four. <laughs> this is all I could squeeze out for day five because <laughs> I was so tired. And I did this yesterday. I didn't even do it on Friday because I was just too tired. So thanks everybody for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye.